database schema is snowflake schema actually the snowflake schema is a variant of star schema model where some dimension tables of star schema are normalized by splitting the data in the dimension table into additional tables the resulting schema graph forms a shape similar to snowflake that's why this this is known as snowflake schema so snowflake schema is a variant of star schema model here some dimension tables are normalized by splitting the attribute or data into additional tables the resulting schema graph forms a shape similar to snowflake so it is known as snowflake schema what are the major differences between snowflake and star schema models the major difference between snowflake and star schema model is that dimension tables of the snowflake model may be kept in normalized form so it reduces redundancies the dimension tables of snowflake model may be kept in normalized form so the redundancy is reduced the normalized dimension table is easy to maintain and also saves storage space the reduced sorry the normalized tables table is easy to maintain and also it saves storage space but the saving of the space is negligible compared to the magnitude of fact table when we compare the typical magnitude of the fact table this space saving is negligible the drawback of this snowflake structure is that it can reduce the effectiveness of browsing snowflake structure reduces the effectiveness of browsing because it requires more joins to execute a query snowflake in snowflake uh, structure some at uh, some uh,
dimensional tables are normalized so the number of tables increases dimension table increases when we execute a query then this snowflake structure needs more join operations to perform so the system performance of snowflake may be adversely impacted so system performance also reduces hence the snowflakes schema reduce redundancy but it is not a popular schema compared to star in data warehouse design the advantage of snowflake schema is it reduces redundancy but this reduction in the red, uh, redundancy doesn't affect the popularity of snowflake schema compared to star schema now consider one example for snowflake schema figure 35 shows a snowflake schema of a data warehouse for sales in our electronics all electronics example we have one two three four five and six six dimension tables and one fat table so similar to our star schema only one fat table is in the snowflake schema in the example of star schema four dimension tables were discussed in that example the dimension tables item and location are normalized to form snowflake schema in the item dimension table the supplier attribute is split into a new dimension table supplier similarly in the location dimension table the three attributes of star schema city province or state and country are converted into a new dimension table city so the dimension tables increased from 4 to 6 in this snowflake schema 
in the item dimension table supplier type is replaced by a pointer supplier key to the supplier dimension table the newly formed supplier dimension table includes two attributes supplier key and supplier type in the location dimension table the three attributes city province or state and country are replaced by a pointer to the city dimension table city underscore key and the city dimensional table contains four attributes city key city province or state and country this snowflake schema reduces the redundancy of data but the drawback is that when we execute a query this snowflake schema requires more join operations because of the increase in the number of tables now consider the consider the explanation of this snowflake schema a snowflake schema or all electronic sales is given in the figure 35 here the sales fact table is identical to that of the star schema discussed earlier the main difference between the two schemas is the is in the definition of dimension tables star schema and snowflake schema mainly differ in the definition of dimension tables the single dimension table for item in the star schema is normalized in the snowflake schema resulting in new item and supplier tables the item table is normalized into two tables item and supplier for example the item dimension table now contains the attributes item key item name brand type and supplier key where supplier key is linked to the supplier dimension table containing supplier key and supplier type information similarly the single dimension table for location in the star schema can be normalized into two new tables location and city the city key in the new location table links to the city dimension notice that further normalization can be performed on province or state and country in the snowflake schema shown in this example when we 
decide when we want to normalize further it is possible to normalize province or state dimension table and the country that is about snowflake schema